Hey, my loves. So today I want to show y'all some herbs that will help y'all with attracting customers to your business and bringing in money, okay? And this is for the entrepreneurs or the people who are just starting out and you want to know how to do your candle magic to make your business flourish, all right? So one of the nicest herbs you can use is mint. My favorite one, let me move this incense because it is choking me out. I have a call client incense. Let me show y'all that real quick before we get into the herbs. So I have a call client incense lit right now. You can also use call money, but I have the call client. That's for another video. But I wanted to show y'all just another business thing y'all can use for your business to grow it. Let me put you over here by Archangel Michael. There you go. Whew. Lord have mercy. I was I was choking. Anyway, spearmint. So mint is wonderful with business altogether. If you're trying to do protection for your business, then you should use something like a peppermint. Okay. So you can have that pepper in there. But if you're trying to attract customers, attract money, attract clients, then it's spearmint that you're looking for. Okay. And this is, again, to attract good luck, attract customers, attract money. It's just the whole gamut for business. You know, put you on the right side of the energy, okay? Another one is Lodestone. Let me get a spoon for her. Now, Lodestone, let me borrow you real quick, baby. Lodestone is, I have the powder. It is great for attracting new clients, keeping your old ones, um, bringing in money. This is all about growing your business, keeping you motivated, keeping your mind motivated and all of that great stuff. So wonderful for business, Lodestone. This is Yellow Duck. Yellow Duck draws money and customers to your business. Let me show you Yellow Duck. And there you go. And Yellow Duck draws, um, brings money to your business and it brings customer to your, customers to your business and luck. So all of these are great with specific business intent. This is not for you know, just trying to draw money. You can use catnip for that. We are trying to do big sums of money with business, okay? We have some sandalwood here. Sandalwood is like a fine powder, just like the lodestone. I just want to show it to you. And this is the red sandalwood. And red sandalwood is, is great for business. It, it brings you inner peace. It's just great for spirituality. It's great for balance. So it just brings in that peace. It, it, it's, it's wonderful for business. Wonderful for business. We have some sarsaparilla. Now, sarsaparilla is great for health, love, and money. Now, if you mix sarsaparilla with the sandalwood and sprinkle that around your in the four corners of your home or the four corners of your business, that will attract more clients, more customers, and more money into your business. So those two are a great combination, the sandalwood and the sarsaparilla, okay? Now we have some comfrey root here. And comfrey root is also great for business great for money, great for travel, great for prosperity. So if you are a traveler with your business and stuff, you can use this with great, you bring comfrey root with you and put that in your sash to make sure it keeps you protected during your travels. But it also makes sure that your travel, your business travels are productive and you're getting what you need to get done, okay? We have some bayberry bark. Now, I love bayberry. Bayberry is great for attracting money altogether, but in business, oh my goodness, it is wonderful. You can put some bayberry oil or some bayberry bark in a sash. You put a little put a little oil 
on a couple dollars and put that those dollars in your wallet, honey. And it's just going to keep on. It will just keep on attracting money. Okay. So let me show you how the Bayberry Bark look. And then they have Bayberry Oil as well. So you don't have to. You can get all of these in an oil or in the herb. I love my herbs. So I'm sticking with the herbs. But I do use essential oils when I make the ones I sell sometimes because I like the fragrance. I do that for fragrance, not necessarily because I love the essential oils, even though they're wonderful. Okay, so that's the Bayberry Bark. But Bayberry Oil, you can put that a couple dabs, one, like put literally four dabs on all four corners of the dollar bill and then one in the center to ground that money in. Make sure you have your petition written on that. Fold it up towards you, put it in your wallet, and walk with that. Honey, that's a spell. You see how simple magic is? It doesn't have to be extreme. I do mines very intricate because my clients need heavy work. If the universe is sending you to me for, for any type of work, or because I'm going to teach you how to do your own. I don't even want to do work for you no more. So if, this, if the universe is sending you to me, for spiritual guidance, that means you need some heavy work. And that means all I'm doing for you, baby, is putting the ingredients together and you're going to go home and do your thing. And that's really what this is, okay? Now, some of the crystals that you can use to attract money and business. I love, of course, number one, citrine. Everybody is not a big one number one with the citrine, but I am. I love citrine. I think citrine is awesome with attracting money, giving you that vibration of wealth and abundance. I'm dropping crystals all over. That one flew across the room. I'll get her. So we have some tiger's eye. And tiger's eye is great for energy. Oh my goodness. As I put it in my hand, energy boost of energy immediately it's it's just men with tiger's eye you will never have erectile dysfunction i mean i just feel like it's one of those that just mm, you know just puts that extra effort in but that, that's more of giving you the drive giving you the the go to go out there and get what you want we have some devil's gold and red jasper this is the devil's gold. This is the red jasper. Both of these are great for attracting money. Pyrite. Great for attracting money and wealth. Green aventurine. This is my luck stone. Make sure I'm always in the right place at the right time. I'm never fucking around. This is another red jasper. It's just lighter. And then I have a moldavite in the middle of all of them. Because <laughs> I go hard. I go hard. <laughs> That's my little DC vibe. If anybody is from DC, you will know where that came from. Anyway. Oh, <laughs> yes, guys. So that's it for my little money tray. But this, these are great. This one is a, I forgot what this is called, but this is more for like psychic protection. I keep it in here as well um, to make sure that my mind is clear, honey, when it comes to the money. You understand? You understand? And this stays on my desk. It stays next to me. Um, I keep, I have a little sash that have a few things in there as well but this is the money crystal section okay and of course everybody needs some cyanite cyanite keeps your mind clear it keeps you remembering where things are cleansing your crystals and things to that nature all right so my loves these are great items again to all help you with attracting customers to your business Make sure you use them. You don't have to, again, use them all, but you do want to have a few of these in your repertoire so you can make, you know, do your candle magic and attract what you need. If I was to recommend any, lodestone, mint, the sandalwood is another one. Because I like calm environments. I don't like a lot of disruption and drama. The sandalwood would keep my environment peaceful so I can work and pay attention and do what I need to do and don't have any distractions. All right, my loves, that's it. I love you, and I'll see y'all on the next one. I love y'all so much. I know I just be going in. I don't really be. I'll get on here and tell about my life one day. It's so crazy. It's... I'll talk to y'all later. I might do a live and talk about my problems. <laughs>
Bye, babies.